Are you looking to start your own food delivery business? It is a booming business. In 2019, Americans spent more than $863 billion in various eating and drinking establishments. A good portion of this was spent on delivery, carryout, and drive throughs even before COVID-19. As the popularity of takeout and delivery continue to rise, food delivery businesses are in higher demand. Today we'll be sharing some advice on starting your own food delivery business. I'm Raid here with Jotform. Let's get into it. The first step to creating a food delivery business is finding your niche. Figure out your unique approach. There are things from farm to table delivery, meal kits, and restaurant delivery orders. Figure out what makes your delivery service special and expand on that. Farmhouse Delivery was started by Stephanie Scherzer 11 years ago. She started out as a part-time farmer and she saw that people wanted to get quality foods into their homes. She knew that she could fill this need with her own food delivery business. On the other hand, the food delivery business, Spread, was founded by Andy Wang. He started out working for Groupon, building delivery and takeout products for restaurants. He noticed how difficult it was for restaurants to work with most food delivery services because they charged 20 to 30% commissions for every order. He also saw that it was challenging for restaurants to master their marketing strategies. Most restaurateurs don't have the marketing savvy to create a website and maintain an email marketing list the way that large restaurant chains do. Wang created Spread to be a dedicated ad network for restaurants. It is a commission-free platform that targets the best prospective customers for restaurants, and it helps those restaurants with repeat customers. This is much more cost-effective for restaurant owners. Both of these businesses were started because they realized something was missing in the market. They found their niche and filled a need. If you are not fulfilling a specific want or need for your target market, then your business will not get very high off the ground. Once you have your niche, it's time to define your approach. There are several ways that you can approach restaurant food delivery. One way is to start a brand new marketplace. Grubhub and DoorDash are examples of marketplaces. Building a successful marketplace requires a lot of attention to details. For this marketplace, you would need to sign up restaurants, build your product, get users, then pass their orders along to your restaurants. But you also have to get the details right, including accepting payments and ensuring that restaurants fill the orders correctly. And getting restaurants on board will require some creativity on your part. Restaurants may be hesitant to join a service like Grubhub or DoorDash because of the commission taken away from the restaurant. It's your job to show them how you are different from other marketplaces. Another option is to start a white label ordering service. This means that you would have to build and sell software that restaurants can use on their own sites to take orders. This may be a challenging route, but the good news is there are not that many companies in this space. There is a low barrier to entry. All you have to do is write the code or hire someone else to write it, then sell it to the restaurants. Our final approach is to start a food ordering and delivery platform. This approach is best exemplified by Uber Eats. This approach does require building out the logistics. You would be in charge of everything, including creating the app, taking orders, establishing a restaurant network, and creating a delivery service. No matter what type of food delivery approach you decide to go with, keep in mind that it may change over time. In terms of farmhouse delivery, they started out strictly with produce. The company later evolved and started delivering groceries, dairy products, and clean pastured meats. Even though the approach changed, Stephanie Scherzer kept her focus the same. She wanted to support Texas ranchers and farmers and serve as a green convenience delivery service by delivering fresh foods to people's homes. After you lay out your approach, it's time to figure out the logistics. For farmhouse delivery, Scherzer and her partner started by pulling products off of the shelves and delivering them locally. They would mainly deliver around Austin, Texas in an old DHS van. 
This worked well while her business was small, but as the number of orders grew, Scherzer knew that she needed a different solution. Now her business uses an entire fleet of vans and box trucks to deliver their produce. And while 90% of deliveries are handled in-house, they will still sometimes use contract drivers from TaskRabbit to catch up on deliveries. Not only do they need more vans, but they also need routing software to deliver their food more efficiently. They use apps like OnFleet for routing the orders. They also use Delivery Biz Pro, which has both a mapping feature and a notification feature which texts customers 10 minutes before the delivery arrives. Figuring out the logistics of your food delivery can be challenging. One of the bigger learning curves is figuring out how to keep food cool and what type of receptacles to use when stacking deliveries in vans. It will probably take more than a few deliveries to figure out how to do this efficiently, without having your products jumbled in the back of your van due to too many hard turns. It's important that you take these challenges as they come and carefully find a solution. For Andy Wang's company, at first, they only worked with restaurants that could handle delivery themselves. But now, Spread partners with a logistics company called Relay. When you're first starting out, you may want to hire your own staff and pay them an hourly wage, but this doesn't make sense for your business unless you're hitting a certain amount of orders. Instead, go through a third-party logistics partner to help save your business money and time. When you're first starting out, it's best to handle delivery with a third-party company. This allows you to focus on the procurement and fulfillment of the process. Take a look at where your customers are. Are they in your area or are they hours away from you and your fulfillment center? See what would make the most sense for your business and go with that route. If you have a small number for customers and you are able to deliver everything yourself, then do that. But if you're not ready to tackle the delivery aspect, then there's no harm in using a third party delivery service. And finally, build your customer base. You can do this with traditional marketing tactics, or you can follow Insurzer's footsteps and focus on more word of mouth marketing strategies. When farmhouse delivery first started, they would host things like farm to table dinners and attend relevant markets so they could explain to potential customers what they do. Scherzer focused on meeting with farmers, building relationships, doing price negotiations, and figuring out how to bundle products. As you build your customer base, make sure that you have an ordering mechanism in place for when customers decide to work with you. JotForm has plenty of food delivery order forms, including restaurant order forms, meal kit delivery forms, and grocery delivery forms. These forms can easily be embedded on your site so that you can collect orders and payment information securely. As for Spread, they link directly to restaurant sites. The original plan was for people to place orders on restaurant sites, but Wang saw that some restaurants didn't have their own online ordering mechanism in place. For this, he would normally list the restaurant's phone number, but calling in an order is not the same as ordering online. When you order over the phone, there's a higher chance for miscommunication, while ordering online leaves less room for human error. Okay. Let's review. There are four main steps to starting a food delivery business. First, find your niche. Second, define your approach. Third, work out the logistics. And fourth, build a customer base. By following these steps, you too can start your own successful food delivery business. Thank you so much for watching today. I'm Raid here with JotForm. I'll see you next time.